Home half of the first, no score between Falmouth and Bourne. The first batter of the half inning is Ethan Conrad, the left-handed hitting center fielder. First pitch, he fouls it away over the third base side. Goes down, no balls and one strike. Ethan Conrad, second in Cape Cod in batting average. He sports a 367 line. Coyle digs in his glove at his belt, now winds and deals the 0 1. Conrad slaps it the other way. It falls to the six hole and trickles into left field. A leadoff base hit for the Bravos here at home. And Doran Park now looking to end the playoff hopes for the Falmouth Commodores with a win. Well, the problem that you ran into the last time is that Bourne was the first team to really start scoring. It was not a blowout game. It was very close through the first half. Then you went to the bullpen, and the bullpen couldn't hold the line. But the problem you had in Parker Coyle's second start, his most recent start against the Braves, is he ran into trouble early, and you want to avoid that. Coyle now works out of the stretch to face the right-handed shortstop Merrick Houston. First pitch. Slider misses away. One ball and no strikes to count. The 313 hitting shortstop. He's got Ethan Conrad on first base after a single the other way. He was the first batter here in this home half of the first where we have no score between Falmouth and Bourne. 1-0. Houston pops it up, curls out of play on the right side and foul. One ball and one strike. Talking about the good batting average for Ethan Conrad, second in the league. Merrick Houston's 313 average has him at 13th in Cape Cod. Also has seven RBI to go along with it. Coyle throws over. Nothing going. Ethan Conrad dives back into the bag head first. One ball and one strike the count. Houston digs into the middle of the right-handed batter's box. He rests his hand bat on his right shoulder. 1-1 one, one home. Fastball misses head high and scoots to the backstop. Above the commit of the catcher, Scott Mudler, Ethan Conrad hustles into second base. With nobody out here in the home half of the first, the Braves already have a runner in scoring position. The batter, Merrick Houston, in a two-ball and one-strike count. Houston, one of the bigger producers in this lineup. He was a West Division All-Star. He started at shortstop in the game on Saturday. It last night was 0 for 4 against Wareham. Coyle nods at the first sign he gets from Mudler. 2-1 home. Houston fouls it away. It ricochets off the screen above the backstop. And the count moves to two balls and two strikes. Boy, what a big addition Merrick Houston has been to this lineup. Ends up an all-star, even though he missed a little bit of time, MJ. He and Zion Rose went down and played for Team USA. But what a big uh, addition that was to bring him back. 2-2 two -two home. Slider misses away. The count now moves full. Three balls and two strikes. Well, everybody has a different philosophy with the way that USA operates now. Some of the guys never even come up here. They, they just decide, I'm going to go play for USA. Merrick and Zion, two guys that were like, why, why would I not come back to play here and, and play more baseball once I'm done? And both of the, their teams have benefited from it. 3-2, Houston slaps a bit of the way. The second baseman Marquette grabs it, flips the second base, nearly a double play. The shortstop, Jack Bell, was a step late as Ethan Conrad dove back into the second base bag to avoid being doubled up. Heads up play from Isaiah Marquette. Gets a start at the middle infield position tonight. He mainly has played first base for the Commodores. He mans second base. Jack Bell, his fellow middle infielder, at shortstop. The first time we've seen Jack Bell at the sixth spot this summer. One gone, bottom of the first inning. Still no score between Falmouth and Bourne. A runner on second is Ethan Conrad. Here's the righty swinger, Braden Holcomb. Southpaw delivers the first pitch. Slider. Holcomb fans threw it on the outside. No balls and a strike to count. The 327 hitting third baseman. Holcomb takes a deep breath outside the right-handed batter's box and crawls back in. He lost his gray bat out towards the Southpaw Parker Coil, who has the baseball pinned up against his left thigh. Now it meets his glove at his belt. Oh, one. Change up misses upstairs. One ball and one strike that counts even. Runner in scoring position is Ethan Conrad after he singled to lead off the inning. Braden Holcomb, an RBI machine, leads the ball club in that category. He's got 21. 1-1. One, one. Holcomb rolls it right side. Second baseman Marquette vacuums it up in between his legs. Pass it to first. 
And there's two gone in the inning. Ethan Conrad heads for second and third. That first run of the game now 90 feet away. But it's up to the DH Chase Meggers to bring him in. See if Parker can get himself off to a nice little start. Strand a runner on third. Obviously, that'd be a pretty big confidence booster if he can get that here. Marquette makes a couple of putouts in the last two batters. Houston lined out to him, and Holcomb grounded out to him. Now here's the lefty, Chase Meggers, the designated hitter with two going in the bottom of the first. Born in Falmouth, deadlocked at zero. Parker Coyle now works out of the windup with a sole runner at third base. Not to the first sign he gets and fires. Slider, Meggers rips it down the right field line, and it drops, just paints the jump, and one hops the wall. Conrad comes in to score. Nagel hustles around first into second. Jason Jones will throw two late, and it's an RBI two-bagger with two going to the DH and the Bravo take an early 1-0 lead here at home. Jones gave it a very good throw there, MJ. He, he put a lot into it and almost threw him out at second base, but that's just a brutal way to give up the opening run there. You thought you were going to be able to work out of this. Quill can still get out of it with only one run. Just don't want to go down in a big hole too early again. Season on the line tonight. The reigning Cape Cod Baseball League Player of the Week strikes first for the Bravos. And now he stands at second base. The lefty Garrett Michelle, the first baseman, digs in with two going. First pitch. Slider misses away. One ball and no strikes. And the catcher Scott Mother calls time and trots out to the mound to have a word with his starter, Parker Coyle. Yeah, I like this. Just reset him, make sure he doesn't allow this one run to become two or three. You know, the last thing that you would want here is Phillies to spiral. And Aiden, you mentioned earlier on, Chase Meggers a newer guy in the lineup. He's only played in seven games this summer. This is eight. And with that double right there, he now has hits in all eight games this summer. A really big addition for the Bourne Braves as they look to make this playoff push. A guy out of Oregon. And the playoff push becomes a reality tonight if they're able to defeat the Commodores. And remember, the Braves have won the championship the last two years. They've won the West the last three. So it would certainly be big news in many facets if they didn't make the playoffs. 1-0 to Michelle, an eye-level fastball misses upstairs. Two balls and no strikes to count. It should be noted they were the four seed when they got in last year, and well, they rolled right through. Won the opening round against Katuit in two games, beat Hyannis in three, and then won the championship over Orleans in three as well. 2-0, a fastball, a strike, as Michelle swings through it. He's still ahead in the count, two balls and one strike. He's got a runner, and Meggers at second base who drove in Ethan Conrad, who led the inning off with a single into left field. The score stands at 1-0 in favor of Bourne with two gone in the bottom of the first. 2-1. Slider misses inside above the knees of the batter, Michelle. He's in the driver's seat now. Three balls and a strike. Virginia Tech Hokie doesn't even step out of the left-handed batter's box. Stays right in. Crouch stance on the left side. A bit of an open stance as well. 3-1. Fouls it away off the backstop. Now that count moves full at three balls and two strikes. Two going here in the bottom of the first at Doran Park. The sun sets behind home plate. The sun is rising on the Bourne offense right now. And on second base, Chase Meggers and an RBI double that scored Ethan Conrad. Three, two home. And Michelle takes ball four. Fastball up at his eyes. He leans back out of the way and now trots down to first base. Not the walk puts two on the Meggers at second, two. Michelle at first. The sixth batter of the inning, Kristen Bessetta, who homered last night here against Wareham, digs in to the left-handed batter's box. Warren looking to extend the one nothing lead they've gained here in the bottom of the first inning. Meggers had the RBI, he's at second. Falmouth looking to get the guys back in the dugout and get some runs on the board. Coyle, first pitch. Breaking ball misses inside to the batter, Bassetta. One balls and no strikes. 257 hitter this summer. He's got a couple of homers. Mentioned he got that one last night. One up. Bassetta ropes it into left field. Zion Rose, the left fielder, trots back, looks up, and this one leaves the yard. Back-to-back -back nights with a jack for Tristan Bassetta. He points out to the bullpen in left field. It's a three-run blast that gives the Bravos a 4-0 advantage here in the home half of the first. 
two out rally to say the least. All four runs have come with two gone here in the home half of the first. The Braves looking to end that Falmouth season. 